perceptually, when you look at the short historical record, uh, flows in the Athabasca are very low currently, or have been very low. Now, is that a concern? Alberta Environment, along with Department of Fisheries and Oceans, uh, put into place a water management framework uh, for the Athabasca River, which alleviates that concern. Uh, it does so by setting strict limits on how much water can be taken from the Athabasca River on a weekly basis. The allocations are approximately 3% of the annual flow of the Athabasca River. Now, not all that 3% is actually taken. It's what's allocated, but the companies that are withdrawing are not actually withdrawing their full volumes. Most areas of the world do this when they're in trouble, when they have no more water to give, or their water quality is degraded to the point that their ecosystems are being degraded. And Alberta has chosen to say, we want to keep our water clean and abundant, and therefore we come out with these management frameworks in a very proactive manner. This was predicated on what is really uh, unique in the international community for the amount of money and time spent on collecting data uh, millions of dollars spent on it. Uh, we brought in scientists from around the world. So um, <laughs> really, we created a water management framework that is state of the art. Companies have moved a long way to reduce their fresh water use. Um, and I'm talking about from, uh, you know, 80% fresh water use to now uh, 3 to 4 to 5% in steam-assisted gravity drainage operations.